Right now, I'm going to be catching up with a couple of local musicians and asking them some of your questions. I know you got to leave Amy Winehouse or Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige. Amy Winehouse. The 80s or the 90s? 80s. 90s. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And what is the worst job that you've ever had? Cleaning toilets. I was a toilet inspector. Jeremy and Tyra, how did you come together to form the Open Souls? We were originally a band called Fifth Floor and that kind of fell apart and myself and the drummer Julian decided to keep on going. How long have you been together as a band for now? I think probably since about 2001. So Tyra, you come from quite a creatively talented family. Your cousins are Lady Six, Oscar Kaitley, Malo Luafutu aka Scribe. What was it like growing up in such a talented family? We're all quite musical, like all my boy cousins, like they're just great, amazing, they're playing the guitar just by ear. So we always like had many talent shows and stuff. Your album Kaleidoscope like got rave reviews and um, but, but it took five years to record, didn't it? Yeah. Why so long? It was basically I had to learn how to record music and we were learning how to write songs and play as a band as well. Who came up with the idea for your telethon video for Turn It Up? Ricky Gooch is the one to blame for that. He was telling Julian one night at a bar, he said, oh, you should do a telethon video. So you guys won a Beanie Award for In Your Hands, Best Unreleased Song. What was that like? It was awesome to just get a bit of, like, a bit of props for something that we'd done and recorded at home. You've just finished making your album Standing in the Rain. Can you tell me a bit about that process? This time I wanted to have solid songs that, that you could just play on a guitar. This is more like uh, Motown kind of early Beatles inspired music. We all had different styles of music that we were really liking so it took us a while to find a sound that we all agreed on again. And so Jeremy was like showing me these beats and stuff and I was like, oh, I'm not Oh, it's not kind of right and then he like showed me the soul sound and I was like this is what I've been wanting to write to. Now recently you've been on tour uh, with Catch a Fire in Australia, are there any highlights from that tour? It was actually quite inspiring for me to see that this is possible, like that's next level to me. To travel overseas and to pull a crowd and to perform a tight set and just have people peaking is like, okay, that's next level. What are your guys' dreams and aspirations for your band? It's always been a dream of mine to have BVS, and I already know who I would love. Hey. The Sami sisters. Oh my gosh, amazing! <laughs> and I would love it if we could tour with you guys. Who would your dream summer festival lineup be? Headlining would be Paul McCartney, and then probably on the other stage, Oasis. Then probably like Smashing Pumpkins playing like an old set. Raphael Sadiq and Janelle Monáe. And Karma Stewart. Have you heard of Karma Stewart? No. She's really dope. She's like Janelle Monet. Where can people find out about your gigs? We do I have a website. Trust that on MySpace. <laughs> yeah, well, what's your website? I wouldn't trust that either. Um, newspaper? <laughs> no, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Thank you so much for coming and talking to me, and good luck I in the future. Take my hand we'll then. see you on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Group hug. Group hug. Oh, I'm going to hug.